Welcome to this short presentation on an overview of Payments to Us. During the next few minutes we'll go through an overview of the various modules that, that are available inside Payments to Us. We'll take an online payment and see how those details end up inside Salesforce. We'll see how accounts, contacts, opportunities and regular donations are set up. We'll see the dashboards that are created with inside Salesforce and included. We'll also have a look at some other resources that are available on our website to help you get up and going in as short a time as possible. On our website you can see that there's various information including information about the various modules that we have. These include getting paid online and also manually. For manually we mean cash, check, money orders. We have the ability and pre-built integration of data quality right inside Salesforce or the online forms. These include autocomplete and validation of addresses with the options of also validating phones, emails, BSBs. You can take single payments or also regular donations or payments. You can take them for any frequency that you require. We have a module for managing direct debits and getting paid by direct debit. We have an events module that allows you to put up a calendar of upcoming events or a list of upcoming events to be able to take various tickets. These tickets are the, can be the movie ticket style, so you buy two tickets and you just turn up, or event style, where you buy two tickets and you have to specify each of the individual attendee details. We have a membership module that includes single, family, or even corporate type memberships with automated renewals. We have a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising module that allows you to set up a fundraising page for either singles or teams and then have people donate against that fundraising page. We have pre-built integration to Shopify that enables you to take online orders using Shopify shopping carts and have those details end up inside Salesforce. We also have an import file module that allows you to take a CSV file, either upload, copy, paste, email in. Uh, any format that, uh, or any CSV format, and have that create either contacts or payment transactions inside Salesforce. Now back inside Salesforce, after installing Salesforce and following some of the post installation instructions, you can come to the About Payments to Us tab. Then you can press Create Sample. This will create the typical scenarios that you would be using within inside the Payments to Us package and as per those overview modules that we went into before it will set up a test merchant facility so that you can take test credit card transactions right away. For today we'll have a look at the option of taking a regular donation or payment. This launches the form. The form can be styled to any look that uh, you need. It can also be embedded in your website or simply launch from a button or a link on your website. So if we enter in a new our uh, contact, so I'm going to use Bob Jones uh, 0419 and we'll go bob.jonesmailinator.com for an email address. Now when I start typing in an address you can see here that it's brought up a list of suggested addresses. Here that's using our data quality built-in tools. From here you can see we've got some suggested uh, amounts. I'm going to leave it at $20 but make it monthly. I'll let the payment go out on the 20th of the month and I'll put the cardholder's name and their credit card number, CCV and continue. When I press the continue button this writes the payment transaction record right into Salesforce right then. Um, that allows you to use things like validation rules and things like that that you can personalize the data quality on the form to make sure that it meets your, your needs. You could make things like you know work or f um, home phone number, both optional but you've got to enter one or um, at least one of those two. If I go to the payment transaction tab now and I go to today's transactions I can see a list of transactions that have been completed today. I can see here by clicking in here that we've got Bob Jones. I can also see the payment transaction status. The payment transaction goes through a number of statuses. When I was started on the website, I was at confirmation, then it went to payments, then it went to receiving, and then it goes to matching uh, status. So this has gone all the way through. This would have already sent out an email with a receipt to, to the person making the payment. Um, but after sending out the receipt, it, as part of the matching process, it looked to see if Bob 
Jane's already exist in our database. It uses obviously first name, last name. It uses things like email address, mobile phone, and you know address details. Some of these things will have more of a weighting because they're more likely to be unique. Like an email address is more likely to be unique versus a first name because you might enter a first name of Jen or Jenny or Jennifer. These algorithms are very sophisticated in their deduplication side of things. Uh, we support a number of account and contact models including person accounts, uh, the normal business account and contacts, uh, the non-profit starter pack, non-profit starter pack 3 plus as well. If I click into Bob here, I can see that all of the details that were entered online have actually been recorded against Bob's contact. I can see here that an opportunity was created and I can also see that a recurring payment record was created. That was because I chose a monthly payment as opposed to one-off. I can see that it's active, I can see when the last payment came out and I can see when the next payment date came out. So as all of these details are stored inside Salesforce, they're immediately available for reporting and dashboarding. And if I go to the dashboards, I can see that we have included a number of pre-built dashboards for you. You can obviously select from other pre-built dashboards, use our reports, and also create your own. Should you need more help and more information about this, we have some other tutorials and videos, but we also have a online manual built as well. This is very comprehensive and provides step-by-step -step instructions. It covers all of the various modules that we have available. However, one of the other things that you might find useful as well is using Google Search. So if I go to something like Payments to Us Receipt Header, I can see that it's brought back some Google results and these are all linked to our website. And from here I can see the, the steps to steps. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this short overview presentation and don't forget to check out our other videos.